little kitty, for the love of your eyes, don't go out during a solar eclipse without proper protection. But kitty wants to see the dark side. Of course, but before you step out, let me answer a burning question. How can a solar eclipse cook your eyes? Zoom in! A solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the sun and earth, partially or completely blocking the sun's light, resulting in a partial, total or annular eclipse. But as mesmerizing as these events are, looking at the sun without proper protection can cause serious, even permanent eye damage. Let's find out why. You see, on a normal sunny day, when you happen to glance at the sun, your pupils shrink in response to the brightness, limiting the amount of harmful light entering your eyes. But during an eclipse, the dimmed sunlight tricks your brain into keeping your pupils wide open. The sun may look safer to observe, but the danger is still there. Yes, even though the sun seems less intense, the harmful ultraviolet, UV and infrared IR radiation it emits never stops. With your pupils wide open, this powerful invisible energy enters your eyes unchecked, putting your vision at serious risk. But why is this so dangerous? Well, once inside the eye, the lens focuses incoming light onto the retina, the delicate tissue at the back of the eye responsible for vision. This is where the real damage happens. Much like a magnifying glass concentrating sunlight onto a piece of paper, the eye's lens directs the sun rays onto a single spot, generating intense heat. This exposure can cause photochemical toxicity, where high-energy UV light triggers destructive chemical reactions that damage the retina's rods and cones, the cells responsible for processing images. At the same time, infrared radiation contributes to thermal burns, essentially cooking the retina from within. But what makes it even worse is that the retina has no pain sensors, so you won't feel the damage happening. But hours or even days later, vision problems may appear, ranging from mild blurriness to severe impairment. And the worst part, retinal cells don't regenerate. Unlike a sunburned layer of skin that eventually heals, once the retina is damaged, the effects are often permanent. Many people who have stared at a solar eclipse without protection develop blind spots, blurry vision or permanent distortions in their sight. While some mild cases improve over time, in many instances, the damage lasts a lifetime with no medical treatment to reverse it. But does this mean you have to miss out on witnessing one of nature's most magnificent events? Not at all. You just need to take the right precautions. Yes. Special Eclipse glasses certified to block harmful radiation are the safest way to watch without risking your eyesight. If you don't have those, you can use a pinhole projector, a simple device that lets you observe the eclipse indirectly. Even watching a live stream from a space agency allows you to experience the event without putting your vision in danger. By taking the right precautions, you can enjoy the cosmic spectacle safely, ensuring that your eyes remain healthy for all the other incredible sights the universe has to offer. Trivia time! Did you know the maximum number of solar eclipses 
partial annular or total that can occur in a single year is 5. On the other hand, the minimum number of solar eclipses per year is 2. Meaning that at least 2 solar eclipses happen somewhere on Earth annually. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Anisha. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox. Zooming out. So, Kitty, ready with your protective gear? Well, never mind. <laughs>